Ken Malay here with a tip from the library. You shouldn't lose sight of the fact that every webinar needs some sort of marketing. Even an internal webinar for something like an employee training class or an executive address needs an invitation. People need to know what's going to be covered, when the webinar will take place, and how to access it. Of course, when you're trying to entice an external audience to attend a webinar, promotion and marketing get even more important. The first thing to keep in mind is that you always want to promote value for the audience. Don't use phrases like, we will present, or this webinar covers. Instead, use phrasing like, you will see, you will learn, get a better understanding of. You can carry that through to the title of the webinar itself. You'll get great results from titles that mention best practices, tips, or guidelines, because those promise value for the listener. Along with your value promises, make sure to identify who the webinar is intended for. Let people know whether this is an introductory overview for newcomers or it addresses advanced concepts for experienced professionals. You should know whether the topic or the speaker is the primary draw for your audience. If you're featuring a well-known authority, promote the person and the opportunity to interact with them in a live session. Usually, though, the presenter isn't as important as the topic. In those cases, don't dilute the power of your message by wasting a lot of space describing the speaker. Keep the focus on the topic and the value proposition. Your materials need to be very clear about the date and time for your webinar. I find that city names are less ambiguous than time zone abbreviations when you're listing the starting time. I also believe in giving people a time zone conversion link so they can find the time corresponding to their location. Let them know the scheduled duration and whether there's a cost to attend or it's a free webinar. There are a lot of ways to spread the word about your webinar beyond just email blasts. Put an ad on the home page of your website. Write a blog post. Include it in your newsletter. Tweet the registration link. Oh, and don't forget that Twitter is an immediate medium. So crank out a few tweets in the hour or two before you go live for people who are seeing it right at the last minute. You can look for professional interest groups on LinkedIn or Facebook that might be interested in your topic. You can even create pay-per-click search ads or post press releases announcing the webinar as a way to get into search engine results for your topic keywords. Now you might want to move on to my tips about email communications with your participants, which is available here. Or you can always head back to the index page to pick another topic. Thanks for watching.